We are absolutely thrilled to be on Parliament Hill today. We are on the front lines of developing good public policy for Canada's auto care industry. We are welcoming 20 members and senior executives from the industry from all across the country. We are meeting with over 40 members of Parliament and Senators, uh, talking about the, the critical right to repair uh, issue and the urgent need for legislation. The right to repair issue is about ensuring that consumers have choice uh, at the end of the day when it comes to vehicle repair. We need access to vehicle data to ensure that we are uh, able to service and repair the vehicles of tomorrow. This data is critical. Uh, and right now uh, we are faced with uh, manufacturers who are either making it more difficult, more time consuming, more expensive, or even impossible to obtain this data. Well, the right to repair legislation is very important to the industry. Uh, without that, many repair shops don't have access to information. They don't have access to some of the tools needed to work on the, the new cars of today. The demand of the government is really to think about consumers and to make a law to protect the consumers so they can have the choice. Today, the Canadians have the right to choose where they want to do their repairs on automobiles. The ability to fix today's vehicles is becoming a burden. The cost that's implied with having to deal with data points, to deal with restrictions that we're seeing from the new structure of vehicles, the, the, the lack of access we see, it's made costs increase, it's increased cycle times for us. The independents themselves are small business owners, family operated businesses, second, third generation, with a fourth generation often coming in. To make it such a burden to offer a service to their own neighbours who come in where they do business, where they want to do business, where they feel comfortable, but being told that we don't have the data, we don't have the access to the technology in this vehicle, it, it makes their business model struggle, and this is a, a concern for the future. L'accès aux données, c'est un enjeu qui est très tangible dans les ateliers mécaniques. Je suis certaine que il y a beaucoup de mes collègues, il y a beaucoup de mes clients, il y a beaucoup de des gens que je côtoie tous les jours qui vivent ça de plus en plus dans leur atelier mécanique. Donc, ça me fait plaisir d'être ici, d'essayer de conscientiser puis de faire ma part pour l'industrie. If we don't get this right to repair issue resolved, if we continue with this cases volunteer agreement, where you know. Some participate, some don't. Uh, it's going to become more and more of a difficult problem. This over-the-air technology, these cars connected to the web, um, we're just going to be able to get less and less information, and more and more cars are going to be you know, out of reach for us to fix. And we're going to have to basically say to these customers, I'm sorry, as much as we'd like to, you can't fix your car, you're going to have to take it to the dealership. Because if we don't have a robust uh, aftermarket and having individuals fixing cars outside of the OEM dealerships, uh, I think we're going to see a dramatic change in what it costs to get vehicles fixed and just your ability to get the service level that you want. The right to repair is not just a, a consumer protection issue, it's an affordability issue, it's an environmental issue keeping, keeping waste out of, out of landfill. Our manufacturing sector is a huge part of what uh, the social fabric of our small towns are about. So these bills are going to address those issues and make sure that our small communities remain viable. Right to repair makes a lot of sense and why we actually need a fair system for everybody because it's about the future of our country.